Hey everybody, this is Geneva of Geneva's Closet Talk Show. Now let's get into some 90 Day Fiancé tea. If you are a fan of 90 Day Fiancé like I am, then of course you have been watching the shows. I'm actually talking about 90 Day Fiancé Happily Ever After, and I'm actually talking about the couple Kalani and Asuelo. Now you remember Kalani and Asuelo. Kalani went to Samoa, and that's where she met, met Asuelo. He worked at a resort. She said she was a virgin. She got with Asuelo. They hooked up. She got pregnant. She brought him back to the United States and introduced him to her family. Her family didn't necessarily care for him, mainly her sister, Kolani. Nevertheless, they got married and had their son, Oliver, not necessarily in that order, but that's basically what happened with those two. Now, I did this particular video a while ago, and I released it, and then I brought it back for whatever reason. But the reason why I am even talking about these two is because I found out some information during the first season of um, have a 90 Day Fiance with these two in it. And I was wondering if they were going to release the information during the reunion show. But then during the reunion show, they did not. If anything, they were portrayed as being the better put together couple out of the rest of the 90 Day Fiance couples on, on the show. And um, so now I'm just going to release it and, and tell the information that I had found. So basically, this is where it starts from. Let's go back a little bit. Don't you remember the very first season? Well, of course, the, the only season that they were in, because now we're just on the second one. But the first season that they were in, when Kalani told her sister Kolani that Asuelo had cheated on her, now, that was actually one of the reasons why Kolani didn't even like Asuelo, because she felt like that he had cheated on her sister. But then Kolani then had another uh, conversation, no, Kalani then had another conversation with her sister Kolani, and then told her that actually Asuelo had not cheated on her. They was just, you know, a little confused about their relationship, trying to work it out, because she was all the way in the United States, and he was in Samoa. Well, to be perfectly honest with you, based on my research, in my 90 Day Fiance T, Kalani must have thought Asuelo cheated on her because she went as far as to reach out to some girl, and that is the name that we are going to give this girl today when we're, when we're talking about her, is the girl. She ended up reaching out to the girl on social media, and they had a long DM conversation, and I am going to read it to you right now. Basically, the conversation goes like this, and this took place July 28th, 2017. And this is, now you are going to be able to look at it. The white is Kalani and the blue is the girl. And this was like at three something in the morning. Hi there. This is super awkward, but I'm Asuelo slash Ace's pregnant fiance. He's been shady as F lately, and I'm just trying to understand what's going on so I can figure out what to do. I found out he was using a fake page that makes it seem like he's single. You were one of the girls he had recently added to that page. He says you guys have a high slash by friendship, but at this point, with how many lies I've heard, I don't know what to believe. Please let me know the truth. Either way, absolutely no hard feelings for me. I just needed to ask you woman to woman. Thanks, my dear, with that smile and emoji. And then the girl responds back, okay, I don't really know where to start, but I'll try to explain everything that had slash has happened. In early April, I came to Samoa and met Ace. He said he liked me and everything, and we hooked up often, kind of just like a fling. I went back to AUS. Now, people, I don't know if AUS is supposed to be Austin, Texas, Austria, um, Australia. I don't know. But she says, I went back to AUS near the end of April and came back to Samoa again early last month. As soon as I came back, I heard he was engaged and I even asked him as soon as I saw him and he denied everything telling me People were just jealous that we were talking, so I believed him, plus he wasn't wearing a ring. We hooked up again, and probably the next day, people were showing me proof you two being together. So I was going to confront him about it, but then all of a sudden, he got fired for being violent with one of the other girl workers. I'm so sorry I didn't tell you. Then she goes on to say something because I thought everything would backlash on me.
So then Kalani responds and says, no problem, girl. I'm just thankful to know. And by hookup, you mean sex? Yes, with a question mark. I'm really so grateful you seriously saved me from years of BS. Now, based on how this went, now you can see at the top of these messages, it says Kalani and Fagada. I think that's her last name. I'm probably not saying it right. But then the girl sends Kalani screenshots of her and Hasuelo's conversations. And those conversations at the top of it, it says King Ace and some last name with an M couldn't really see that. But now, this is him conversating with the girl, him in the white, the girl in the blue. You awake? Yeah, I'm still awake. Why? Can you please? Can you send me your pretty picture, please? Ha, ha, ha. What picture? Your sexy picture of you. I miss you. Morning, my fiance. Then he says, hello, baby. Then she says, hello. And then he says, hey, Kyra. So now... We finally have a name. We don't have to keep calling her that girl. Kyra. And then she puts a smiley face and he says, good night, Kyra. And then the Kyra is now talking back to Kalani. And she says, these were the last messages he sent to me this Monday. And Kalani, because like I said, this is all taking pay place July 28th, 2017. So when the girl is saying these were the last messages he sent me this Monday, I don't know what day July 28, 2017 was on, but she's talking about that prior Monday from that day. Now, like I said, this was at three something, whatever in the morning. So now Kalani is just now responding back same day, but now it's 3.35 p.m. Sorry for such a late reply. I was driving home from work. He's seriously so gross. And the worst part is I went back home May 29th and he knew I was pregnant and he knew and he then still hooked up with you like a week later. Disgusting. Well, thank you so much. And thank you for the screenshots. It's oddly a relief because I could feel something was wrong. And now I have proof. He can't ruin my life anymore. And I'm not surprised about him being violent. He threw me into a wall. Oh, my goodness, he did. While I was there, but I stayed because I already knew I was pregnant. What? Oh, well, I've got my family and my baby. I'm good. I'm sorry he involved you, though, my dear. Oh, my gosh, she loved her, my dears. Oh, well, back to white men I go. Lord, did she just say back to white men I go? Well, we all know that her father did say that he wanted his daughters, his kids to date white men. Did he not say that because he's with a white woman? Come on, I'll let the record show. So she put that with three emojis and a heart. And then Kyra responds back and says, you're such a lovely person. Honestly, I wish the best for you and your baby. And don't let nobody play you as a fool ever again. And then Kalani responds back same day, but at 4.25 p.m. Thanks, girl. Honestly, I wanted a baby regardless. I just left the final decision up to him. So now I get to keep it without dealing with a trifling ass nigga. Really, bitch, did she just say trifling ass nigga? Yes, she did. Yes, she did. With a laughing emoji. Still all good. Best of luck to you, my dear. Thank you again. Mm. Mm -mm. Now, like I said, when I had found this out first season, right before the reunion, I was like, okay, well, I'm not even going to say anything. I'm going to let this thing play out, see if they're going to say any anything on the reunion show. They did not. Came out, came off as like the perfect couple. And then we said, so Kalani must have felt like Asuela was cheating on her because she contacted Kyra. They had a whole conversation. Kyra let her know what was really going on and what is up with this whole thing with uh, Kalani talking about that Asuela pushed her up against the wall while she was pregnant. Huh? What is that all about? And then Kyra talking about that he was violent with one of the girl workers at his job, I'm assuming at the resort. And then let the record show thing back, people. Don't you remember the reunion? Because Asuelo seems to come off as, you know, like a sweetheart. Like he's really nice, very, you know, a little naive and immature. Nevertheless, he seems like a sweetheart. But don't you remember on the reunion show when um, Colt and Larissa was arguing and they were screaming all the back and forth? How, and then he started screaming and getting mad and kind of had like a little temper tantrum. Had never seen that side of him before to the point that Kalani 
Kalani had to say, it's okay, Asuelo, just calm down, it's okay. I was like, okay, boo, she know how to handle her crazy man. But why do you think this information wasn't revealed? You see the messages. Do you think that this is real? Do you think this is fake? But wait a minute, people, that is not all. That is not all. I actually found more information because the girl Kyra, then she decides that she wants to put out a whole letter telling the whole business. I'm just going to read it to you and we can figure out together what this is. It says, hey guys, I kind of just wanted to tell my story about this topic. I wanted to say this anonymously because I don't want any attention whatsoever. And it's really embarrassing, but still wanted to speak about it. Girl, we already know your name is Kara based on the messages. So she wanted to be anonymous, but it ain't happening today. Anyway, I was one of the girls that Asuelo had cheated on with Kalani, and I'm not hating on her whatsoever. I just thought that she would at least tell the truth. She has said, that they were not seeing each other the time he cheated but what she is saying is incorrect she contacted me a few months after it happened and I thought she was lovely and never put me down or even said anything bad to me she just wanted to hear the truth and I really felt for her I'm not sure if she's just trying to cover up how bad of the situation it was when he cheated by saying they were together but in reality they were these are screenshots of the messages she sent to me on Facebook. She found out about me because I Swelo tried to contact me through a new Facebook page behind her back. I'm sure she deactivated her page because of the backlash she was getting from the show. She did explain how she was pushed by him while she was pregnant. So, see, so this got to be Kyra. And I was happy that she said that she was done with him. I'm just happy to tell my story, because this had been on my chest for so long. I wish the best for her. I just wanted you all to know that it's not all what it seems on TV. And yes, she's looking quite bad on the show, but he also has done bad. We are only human. Okay. And then she says, I still wish the best for her. I don't think she expected all the hate when thinking about being on the show, but she should have prepared things like this to happen. And I wish she would have been honest about the cheating regarding Asuelo. Oh, goodness, she's still talking. Backstory on how we met was I visited the hotel frequently back in April last year, and he worked in the activities kind of thing, snorkeling, kayaking, etc. We hooked up during the time I was there in April, and when I went back to the country I live in, I went back to Samoa four weeks later, four weeks after. During that time, while I was away. Kalani had went to Samoa to see him, which has been said by her in the messages. When I went back to Samoa, we hooked up again right after she had left to go back to America. And then unexpectedly, he got fired from the resort. I asked people that worked for the resort why he got let go. And they said because he had a physical altercation with one of the girls that also worked there. So they were both let go. And that's why Kalani brings up what Asuelo did to her and that she was not surprised about what happened. I wanted to add more screenshots, but I couldn't fit it in the collage. If someone could tell me how to add more, I will happily do so. I just screenshot the most um, straight to point messages. Update. Oh my goodness. She got another update. I put a link to Imgur. I don't even know what that is. I M G U R for full screenshots. And yes, I know some of you maybe not believe it because anything these days could be edited and whatnot. But this post was just to get everything off my chest because I was too embarrassed to tell. I don't know. It ends there. Okay. Kyra came out. She had a whole lot more to say about this whole thing, but she let us know exactly what happened. And based on the things she's saying, this is Kyra. So what do you think of that? 
Why do you think, like, I am a little bit tad confused on why 90 Day Fiance hasn't even mentioned this. I thought they wanted the tea, the dirt, the gossip, the drama that's going on in their lives. So I thought that this would have definitely been put up there, but it was mentioned in the first season. Like I said, Kalani brought it up to her sister Kolani, which is why Kolani didn't even like Asuelo. And then she had another conversation with her sister and told her that it wasn't true, that, you know, Asuelo had not cheated on her, and then that was it. And then the rest of it was basically her dealing with him, trying to make sure he was going to be a good father, he wasn't too immature, getting her family to like him, her making it seem like she was a goody two-shoe, and why did he get her pregnant as if she didn't know that all you got to do is to have sex and then you get pregnant. She really was trying to make it seem like it was his whole thing. Like, I don't know. Did he get you pregnant for a second time so he can stay in America? I don't know. Oh my God, girl, really? Um, but yeah. So tell me what you think about this. And, uh, you know, please leave your comments. Cause I actually have more to add to the story. Cause I actually found out a little bit more information, but Anyway, people, tell me what you think about this. Tell me why you think that they didn't mention this. Tell me, do you even think it's true? What do you think about Kyra going out saying this whole thing? What do you think about Kalani saying Asuelo put his hands on her? And then if you think back to the reunion, what do you think about that? Now that you hear that he got let go from the resort from having an altercation with some girl, Kalani saying that he put his hands on her while she was pregnant, and then us remembering how he acted on the reunion show, do you think that maybe something is a little bit off about him and they're just not mentioning it? Just tell me what you think, people. Please make sure that you like and share this video and subscribe to Geneva's Closet if you haven't already done so. And you can follow me on Facebook at Geneva's Closet. I think I will be doing a little bit more of 90, my favorite couples, 90 Day Fiance reviews or the ones that, you know, I just want to talk about a little bit more. But like I said, tell me what you think. You have a fabulous day, people. Bye. 95% black because the, uh, the Brazilians mixed the culture, you know. So I have nothing against. I think that black people are amazing. Beautiful.